In this Circuit of the Past video, Herman shows you around the 1984-2005 layout of the TT Circuit Assen in the Netherlands. We start at the start-finish straight, which has been here since 1926. Shortly after the start was the famous S-corner, a fast right-left combination. It was easy full throttle with a spectacular vantage point to see the motorcycles move from right to left at high speed. With the 2006 renovation, the old S corner was demolished. The site of this corner is now the end of the start finish straight. Shortly after the S corner was the Harbock corner, where they entered the northern loop. This was the second version of the Harbock. The original corner was a few hundred metres further on. Here you see a photo Herman took of the section from the Harbock to the Magique. The old northern loop was abandoned in 2006 and replaced by a smaller stadium section. The first part of this section has now disappeared. Instead, it's a parking lot and a pond. Now Herman follows the remains of the old Northern Loop. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Herman used to race here illegally, and you can hear about that on the previous video that covered the 55 to 83 layout of the TT Circuit Assam. This time around, thankfully, the footage was all taken legally. The Northern Loop used to be much longer, but for safety reasons, they shortened it in 1984. Just like the version from the 1955 to 83 layout, this made use of public roads, which formed the central axis for the track. On both sides were permanent loops, the northern loop and the southern one. When there were no races, the full circuit was open for public use. However, both permanent loops led nowhere except to farmers' lands on the inside of the track. Both loops used to be open for traffic up until 1992. The permanent loops were often used for illegal racing, among others by Herman, the founder of the Circuit of the Past website and YouTube channel. Sadly, after some horrific accidents, the City Council of Assen decided to close the circuit for traffic in 1992. Since then, the TT Circuit Assen has been a full, permanent racetrack. Here is where the surviving part of the old northern loop ends. It was a very fast right-hand corner, one of Herman's favourites, before you had to brake hard for the Struben hairpin. We rejoin the current circuit with the new Struben hairpin, which is almost, but not exactly, on the same site as the old one. The original hairpin was actually where the gravel trap from the new one is now. After the Struben hairpin came the fast V-slang section. In 2002 they moved this section to the left to create more space on the infield. So the V-Schlang actually used to be where the paddock is now. A little bit further on are still remains of the original circuit. We're now in the remaining part of the old V-Schlang. During the old days, Herman drove here much faster. Today, it's an asphalt road in the paddock. With a nod to the past though, it's officially named the old V-Schlang. Don't drive too crazy through there. The annoying sound that you hear here is Herman's rear brakes. When he got home, he immediately called the garage for some new repairs, because that's an accident you do not want to have. We now follow this version of the V-Slang, which has been in this configuration since 2002. Just like in the old days, it ends with the fast Ruskin Hoke corner. But since the shift of the V-Slang, this corner has changed several times. Originally, the Ruskin Hoke was an easy full throttle kink, but in 2002 it was replaced by a right-left combination which was not easy flat out. The drivers criticised the corner, so a few years later it was replaced by a much slower version. Today there are two versions of the Ruskin Hoke, a fast version and a chicane.
we're now approaching the Stecken Wall, a hard breaking point in the old days. Originally, this was a slow rectangular corner, but after 1990 renovations, they made this corner much faster. If you think about it, this version of the Stecken Wall corner is a copy of the 1984 to 2005 version of the Harbacht corner. When this was public road, the road went straight on here and the Stecken Wall was the corner that led to the permanent southern loop. Here they also changed the track. There used to be a fast kink here leading to the banked bolt corner. In 2005 they demolished the original bolt corner and straightened the track. The new corner adopted the old name. If you watch this from above, you can still recognise the imprint of where the old track used to be. Now Herman explores this lost section by foot. Here is a fast kink where you need to lift the throttle for a short moment without braking. Here you can recognise where the asphalt used to be, just like what we saw in the drone footage. The bolt corner itself was a slow left-hander with a huge piece of banking. No, not quite like the old Monza banking, but for a road circuit it was really quite steep. In the grass you can still recognise the embankment of the old built corner, and the gravel path marks the outside of the old corner too. Here was where the old bolt corner reconnected to the current circuit, which will continue on by car. We're now at the double right hand corners of Mandavine and Doikersloot. Actually, the original corners used to be where the gravel trap is now, and this seems to be a common theme at Assen. In 2002, they moved both corners to the inside to create a bigger runoff on the outside. This double right-hander leads to the most demanding part of the TT circuit asset, which has been untouched by modernisation, at least with regards to the track layout anyway. The grass strips have since been replaced by modern asphalt strips, but that's about it. This fast section contains short straights and fast kinks and ends with the most feared corner of the TT circuit asset, the Rams Hoke, that separates the men from the boys. It was also here where Herman had a very scary moment in 1990 during the illegal racing area. You can read about that in his ebook, The Magic of Weathered Asphalt. There you can not only read about illegal racing at Assen, but also about the abandoned Formula One circuit of Nivelle in Belgium. You can buy this ebook on the website www.circuitsofthepast.com. We're now approaching the last corner of the TT circuit Assen, the Gert Timmer Chicane. Just like the start-finish straight, this was also part of the 1926-54 street circuit. But back then, it wasn't a chicane, it was simply a fast kink. For safety reasons, they modified it into a chicane in 1976. So that was our lap on the 1984-2005 layout of the circuit of Assen. Check out the other videos for past layouts of this track. 
More information about the rich history of the TT Circuit Assen can be found on the website circuitsofthepast.com. There you can download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. For now though, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell too, so that you don't miss out on the next video from another iconic circuit from the past.